What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No Premium, back with another episode of the Two Minute Drill, guys. Today, today was like a carbon copy. Yesterday, except they sold this motherfucker off on the nastiest rug pull you have ever seen. However, the big thing that happened today was what they still held. They still held the top of this balance range, right? See, the TTM squeeze is ready to fire. What can make it go? Bing, bang, boom. Tomorrow, core CPI. CPI year over year. Okay. We all know everyone's going to be looking at the consumer price index, but then to throw in a whole nother fucking screwball, they're going to come down here and put the FOMC minutes. It's not the meeting. Pal does not talk. He does not do a Q&A. This is just straight headline bombs right at 2 p.m. If I could give you any advice for tomorrow, okay, would to just be to come back on Thursday. Matter of fact, tomorrow, I will look to trade around some levels, probably the first hour, an hour and a half, and then I will likely not do the rest of the day. What I have noticed, okay, after the, because after CPI, then we have PPI. After Thursday, open, because PPI comes in or before market open, we see a true move at that point. Okay, we see a true move at that point. Okay, so I have a better understanding. All this data is meant to basically get you slaying one way or the other way more than you should. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to look at this. Uh, I just want to get this going. Okay, now let's just go to this four-hour chart. Wow, that took way too long. Okay, and let's look at some levels here. Okay, the levels are pretty simple. 415 to 418 all the way up here, but really 415 to 416 is insane in supply, which you can see we have actually been, it looks like we're doing a little bit of distribution up here at this point, but I mean, CPI could do us Ripper Magoo up. I don't know. Okay. But I would think 415 to 4, uh, 41650 area is likely to be a major short area. As you can see, we have a one, two, three. Now, if we get above right? 418, really. If we get above this 418, I would think you could be a new money long up there if, right, if we break and hold above there, because we have some major levels above there. But I think for tomorrow in the pre-market, I would, I probably suspect some sort of a five to six point move more than likely. Okay. And if so, you're going to want to look to tap out at the top here at 415 to 41650. I think those are going to be two levels to the, to the upside. Now, the downside levels, I think more a majority that would be stronger levels to the downside. You'd want to look at 40450. Okay. But I really think this 401 to 402 area would be a definite bounce spot. Okay. Underneath there, you target that 399,400. Okay, but I really think this 404, uh, 401 to 402 level would be a huge balance zone. Now, guys, I'm going to say this. Everything you plan for tonight can literally go to shit at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. So just make sure you know that. Okay, so it's really important that you wake up early and you watch the reaction to the data. It doesn't matter if inflation's still hot. It's not hot. It's neutral. It doesn't fucking matter. The only thing that matters is what? How we react to it. It could be hot as shit and we rip. Cool. Play what's in front of you. I don't care what it comes in at. You just need to see the reaction. If you're in the Wolves of Wealth community, you know we have our morning call, the pre-market huddle, 8:30, uh, excuse me, 8:45 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do that every morning. Go over our play for the day, what we're looking at. So we'll have 15 minutes post the data release where we can have a game plan of what we are going to do. I would think 415 to 41675, uh, 41650 would be an area to the top side to watch. Bottom side, I will be looking at 40450, then 401, 402, 39950 below there. Okay, that's it, guys. We really can't g give much more than that, but you just have to wake up early, get your levels right, and of course... Don't do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you bright and early. Peace.